Welcome back to my channel. Today we're opening up some soccer, but it's a little bit different. It is 21-22 Tops Bundesliga. I'm excited? Interested? Look at that price. That's why we're opening it. But first, as is my gimmick, gonna take a card out of my PC, show it off, talk about why I love it so much. And this is the third of the three Holy Grail pieces that I've kind of been talking about and showing off. Uh, it's, it's the worst of the three not because of the card but or not because of you know which piece it was i would say like it's probably the best out of the three in terms of like just the card but the, the actual physical card i have is the worst one of the three and it is the 0506 cup honorable numbers matte stage and i think you can see just by looking at it it's not the shiniest copy it's numbered eight out of 14. so numbered out of 14 you can see why i just had to get one if it came up auto fading patch somehow darkened uh the yellow of the card just fading clearly appears to have been kept in the sunlight and not really protected but still it's in my collection it's a card from as i said before probably the most iconic cup set not probably the most iconic cup set that's ever been released and it's numbered out of 14 so i have it that's all that matters i'd love to get one that's a little bit of a better copy but i'll take this one for the moment but now one two 21 22 bundesliga so this is a set that does not exactly have a high ceiling, other than one particular autograph, which I'll get to. But, if you saw last week's video, a Premier League Prism Blaster, uh, it's the same price <laughs> as this one. Uh, this is $50 for a hobby box, that was $50 for a blaster box. So, I thought it was interesting, I thought it was a good price, and I thought I'd open it. And, I mean, we're looking for parallels of, there's some Dutch players that play in the German League, uh, so definitely interested in getting that. And of course, the most important one is Fonzie, Alfonso Davies, plays for Bayern Munich. So we are looking for that base card uh, and hopefully some, some parallels of it as well. That would be really ideal. But what I was talking about with the extremely low ceiling, there's autos are one in five boxes, but there is a Jude Bellingham auto in this set. So Jude Bellingham does come with a lot of uh, hobby hype and he is definitely someone that's worthwhile. So if you can pull that auto, cool. Uh, the rest of the autos, at least to my not so informed about the Bundesliga eyes, not great. So you're really chasing that. And as I said, autos are just one in five boxes, period. But I mean, I opened some of this before and I actually got a, uh, a card number down of 50, which I thought was really cool. So I thought, you know what, at that price, I'll give it a go and it'll be fun. You know, where do you get a hobby box of anything for 50 bucks these days? That's the way I look at it. So, it's got a lot of parallels, it's really fun. Let's do it. So, if I mess up the names as usual, sorry. Stefan Ortega, Peter Gulashi, Rafael Guerrero, Marcus Thurman, and there's the, uh, I think it's, what's it called, Speckle? It is the Sparkle foil, sorry, they're one in three, so in this box... I can't remember how many packs there are. 24, so you're looking at eight of these bad boys. But a Sasha Burchett Sparkle. And then a Golden Generation Andre Hahn. We've got Nils Pedersen and Edmund Tapsoba. The design is pretty nice. I mean, the one thing you could criticize Tops about is that in a lot of their sets, they tend to just reuse the same design over and over. So, like, Tops Champions League for 2021. I think it was, had the exact, effectively the same design as the baseball, which is boring. And like, they used that design for their overtime elite, which is like a, a minor pro basketball league. It was just, it's boring. So uh, you can at least say this is different and interesting. We've got strong right wingers, Elas Bibu, Florian Kruger rookie, Florian Muller, Sparkle, Omer Baez, rookie, Ricardo Pepe, Geraldo Becker, and Anton Stosh, rookie. Really, as far as the base cards go, I'm only looking for Fonzie. I mean, I know there are Dutch players, and sadly, I don't, other than Jeremiah St. Juice, I do not know them off by heart. So that's going to be a search through the base pile afterwards and figure out who they are rather than just know them off the top. Another Sparkle Foil, they're all at the top, eh? Kareem Bellarabi, Charles Araguiz. Hey, there we go, Jeremiah St. Just. Look at that. See, as you can see, nationality, Dutch. 
that's nice. I mean, you love that when you get a parallel and it goes into the PC. A Defense Fortresses, Kevin Vogt. Wataru Endo, Philip Kostik, Brian Brody. He's Dutch, I actually do know that. So I'm going to put that off to the side there. Suet Serdar. Just kind of looking at the odds here. One of the things I am intrigued by is how common uh, some of the stuff are. It looks like you're looking at probably at least one numbered card per, per box. Which, hey, you know, that's pretty good. You like to see that. At least one. I'm hoping for two. It is a 300 card base set and there are a bunch of different numbered parallels. It's just I... Oh my goodness, these packs are nightmarish. Okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, oh, oh boy, it's just not, it's not cooperating. Another sparkle? Boy, oh boy, we're just getting them all. All right, Timothy Chandler. It's a season highlight, first Japanese player in Bundesliga with four scores in one match. That's an interesting choice of wording, I'm assuming translated from German. Lucas Holler. N Nauru Amada, I apologize, Daniel Malin, there we go, that's another one I forgot about that's a Dutch player. We got two Dutch players in the parallels. A Foreign Sensations of Zaver Schlager, this is, we're looking for the Fonzie Canadian flag, we want it so bad. Makoto Hasabi and Paul Sagan, really desperately want that Fonzie card. Yes, like... I mean, I obviously I want the base, but like that's the that is by far the number one card I'm searching for. I don't even care about autos. I'm looking for that one. Marco Richter, Florian Keynes, Danny Bloom, Timo Hubers, and a future star is Gabriel Vidovich. So that's just another insert. Lots of different inserts here. Joshua Kimmich, Mats Hummels, Max Cruz. Curious. Uh, what the odds are, if we can get it to focus here on the, let's see, the defensive fortresses are one in five, team captains one in four, foreign Bundesliga sensations one in eight, so there's gonna be three in this box. That's tough, I don't actually know what the size of the checklist is, so I can't say what the odds are of hitting Fonzie, but that's obviously the one we're looking for. Genki Haraguchi, Karim Oniswo, Rani Kadira, a captain, Christian Gunter, another insert, Musa Nikate, Brian Lasky, Robin Zenter, and um, Amos Piper. I don't know a lot of these players, I'm going to be completely honest. But you know what? I'm happy that if they're going to make a set like this, for people who are fans of the Bundesliga, that they can get players from their team. Winner of Super Cup 2021, Bayern München. Borna Sosa. Evan Ndika. Captain, Marco Reus. Christoph Kramer. Sebastian Poulter. Yanni Serra. And Joe Scali. Joe Scali is American. Interesting. It's just that, like, if they're going to make a set like this, when you look at the Bundesliga, for, I'm an outsider, if you don't watch the league on a regular basis, all you're thinking about is Bayern Munich, proud, maybe thinking, you're probably thinking about Dortmund, maybe you're thinking about uh, Schalke, Wolfsburg, uh, what am I even thinking of? That's the other thing I'm blanking, right? Uh, Leipzig, maybe, but you, you don't think of a ton of teams, so I, I like that when they make a set like this, they don't just focus on this legitimate Bundesliga set. I think that's great. Gideon Jung, finisher and assistant. Jens Peter Haug, Benjamin Pavard, and a defensive fortress is Stefan Ortega. Got one of those already. Kevin Campbell, Yannick Gerhardt, and Philippe Leinhardt. The 300 cards had eight cards per pack, so you're looking at effectively seven cards per pack for base cards. 24 packs per box. So you're looking at somewhere in the range of 100 40 to 150-ish base cards, so about half the set. Really hoping desperately for the Fonzie. It's not going to be easy, but... Okay, we got another sparkle. Uh, Felix Udukai, Andre Hahn, Maximilian Philip. Sparkle and a defensive fortress is Matthias Ginter. 
Sebastian Anderson, Tobias Strobel, Elax Mariba, and Christoph Piatek. Keep it going. Get that Fonzie bait. I mean, I won't say no to an auto. I wouldn't say no to a Jude Bellingham auto, you know. I'm not, I, listen, I'm not greedy. If, if, if they're going to give me one, I'll take it. A Julian Green, Manuel Neuer, midfield power duo, Oliver Bauman, and Eamon Barcock. Another sparkle, another defensive fortress. It's Maxine Lacroix. Cohen Castiles and Elvis Reb Rebekaj. Rebekaj? Kai? Rebekaj? Names. The names opening soccer cards are just eating me alive. But it's fun. I like it. And a cheap rip. Come on, 50 bucks for a hobby box. I know I said it already. Another sparkle, it looks like. Joaquin Nielsen, Daniel Brozinski, Dominique Kaur, Fabian Close, Manuel Pretel. Pretel? I don't know, our second foreign sensation. Rafael Kikiewicz. Still no fancy. Anthony Modeste, Alassane's Plie. Plia, Plia. Taking stabs in the dark. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going and look for the good luck. Oh man, that one. A chunk out of it. I think it's another sparkle. Florian Grillish, Jan Sommer, Thorgan Hazard, and Remy Ben Sabi. Bensabangi. Man, I gotta actually like look at the card before I start talking about his name. Stefan Jovetic, Sidney Rayberger, Tengai Kulabali, and Daichi Kamada. I actually have no idea where we are in the box, so let's just keep going. It's a lot of cards. 8 per pack, 24 pack. 24 packs is a lot. I'm talking like hockey box size at this point. Not nearly as high a ceiling as something like Series 1. Well, no, that's not true, sorry. Not as high a floor, maybe? I don't know if that's a fair thing to say. Patrick Schick, I know him, not for good reasons, knocked the Netherlands out. Keita Endo, Neil Forsberg, and a captain, Wataru Endo. Danny Olmo, Jurgen Ekelkamp, Eklenkamp, Dejan Lubicic, and Arnie Meyer. I'm sure I am missing some Dutch players, so I will definitely go back after this video. Maybe I'll do the magic of editing. I doubt it. It seems like a lot of work. I'll do it later. Uh, looks like we got another... Uh, oh, just an insert. There's Erling Holland. You're always looking for numbered versions of him. Aral Mangala. A goal-striking center forwards. Christoph Baumgartner and a future stars of Jan Thielman. Kevin Schlot Kevin Schlotterbeck. There we go. A season uh, farewell to Bundesliga Legends after 14 seasons. And Briel Mbolo. And that Bundesliga legend is uh, Lucas Pistek. Moving onwards. The designs of a lot of these are pretty pretty nice. The foreign sensations are really lucky to design. The, the future stars is a pretty standard tops thing. They they do that across a number of different sports. The golden generation is cool. The defensive fortresses, is, you know, it's fun. But what is the golden generation? Oh, the golden generation is one for Bach. Jeez, didn't even know that. Uh, more inserts, I think. Cedric Brunner, an experienced defensive duo. Jonas Hoffman, Manuel, Manuel Ryman, a future stars of Christopher Scott. Jeffrey Gouliou. Ger Garrett Holtman. Hey, there we go. That's what we're talking about. That's the one we're looking for. The very base card. Straight into a sleeve, because it's Fonzie. Now, if we can get that foreign sensation, too. And we're cooking. Let's keep it going. Let's keep, let's keep the good vibes going. Would love a numbered card or a parallel as well of him. Maxime Leach, Jan Thielman, Raphael Giwicic, Captain Christopher Trimmel, Lucas Dussart, celebration of remaining in the Bundesliga for Colm, Kingsley Coman, and Gregor Kobel. What do we got left? I don't know, 9, 10, 8? 8, 9, 10, somewhere in that range. 
find out together. Let's see here. Another sparkle. Jorge Mira, Mary. I, I butchered it. Nicholas Dorsch, Raphael Sissos, Ruben Vargas, Simon Zoller, Sparkle, and Kevin Shade, Future Stars, Marco Mayer Hofer, and Florian Newhouse. Uh, yeah, it looks like it'd be eight, eight orange. Well, now I guess it's down to seven left. I'm all over the place. There's so many packs, I'm just lost. Keep the train rolling. Don't stop. Uh, another sparkle. Dominic Zobaslai, Kevin Prince Boateng, Nicholas Stark, Lucas Olario, and Ermedin Demirovic. Oh, our third foreign sensations. Georgino Rudder. Womp womp. Florian Wirtz and Conrad Leimer. Oh, yes, by my math, we are now down to six packs. Still looking for our numbered card, because I'm starting to think it is just one that we get. David Realm, Robert Lewandowski, Edmund Tapsoba, and Defensive Fortresses Musa Nikate. Andre Silva, Alexander Schwolau, Yusufa Mukoko, and Defensive Wall. The dual cards are interesting. Not a lot of things do that anymore. I feel like that was to fill up the checklist, but I mean, surely. They could have found, I don't know, either some more season highlights or some other players they could have just put on the cards. I don't know. I'm no expert. Looks like we've got our numbered card here. You know what? I'm going to put it outside. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. It's a numbered and a sparkle in the same pack. Let's see here. Oh, and immediately following it appears to be another number. So I'm going to put that off the side again. So I was kind of right, I guess, about there being two numbers. I did take a guess, based on the odds that you would get at least two. Oh man, is that a third one? I think so. Man, that just all piled up at the bottom, eh? All right, well, hey, hey, hey. Let us not complain. Let us just continue. All right, Konstantinos Mavropanos, Max Christensen, Maxence Lacroix, a captain, Manuel Neuer, Maximilian Egestein, Sasa Kalajic, and Sarnov, and sensational goal against Schalke. All right, last pack before we see those three, by my count, numbered cards, which is cool. All right, we've got French Offensive Connection, Sebastian Rudy, Giovanni Reyna, Captain Jonas Hector, Musa Diaby, Marvin Friedrich, Giorgino Rutter, and Celebration of First Time European Qualification. All right, we'll start with this one because this one looked aqua to me. Kevin Trapp, nine Bundesliga titles in a row, Jamal Musiala from Munich, we've got a Groith. Nope, nope, there it is. Club icon leave the Bundesliga. So it's a season highlight numbered card. And that is numbered 152 out of 199. So it's David Abraham leaving the Bundesliga. That's our first numbered card. Dixon Abiyama, Astro Franks, Christopher Anti Ajay, and Thomas Muller. The numbered cards don't pop in the same way the sparkles do, I'll be completely honest. That's the aqua, I mean it's the most boring of all of them, but... Alright, so this appears to be like a pink or a purple of some kind. Fuchsia, maybe? Or 1 in 39. Timo Horn, Iago, Timo Baumgartel, Jonathan Burkhart, and the team we're looking at is, let's, oh man, I did it again. It's Nico Schlatterberg for Freiburg. And that is numbered 52 out of 125. Let's just get a sleeve here. We'll properly put it in the sleeve. There we go. So that's a fuchsia. Uh, Robin Mausch, Martin Dardai, 
That, by the way, is the gold parallel that I pulled out of some loose packs and Odalon Kosono. All right, last one, which I believe is a blue. So we're looking at four cards and then it. Andre Duda, Florian Niederlechner, Piero Hincapi, Taiwo Awani, and the team is Mainz, and it's Adam Salai. And that is numbered, where is it? 13 out of 75. So is that? I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to pull, it, pull it right up to the camera here and I genuinely cannot tell what color that is. Maybe, maybe I'm just blind. But I actually have no idea what color that is. Let's, let's see, fuchsia, blue, silver, silver probably? That would make sense. So, hey, you know what? That's the box. I'll just Lucas Mcheka, Vincenzo Grifo, and Armel Bella Cacha. So, here we are. We got to the end. We got three numbered cards. That's cool. A silver, Adam Salai, a uh, fuchsia, Nico Schlatterberg, and an aqua of uh, season highlight. Uh, as for other highlights, I mean, this is the one. I wanted that base card. I got that base card. Could I have gotten it cheaper than $50? Yes. Would it have been as fun? No. That's pretty much it. There will be some Dutch players. I'll search those ones out. Did get a couple sparkle foils of Dutch players, which was really cool, but hey, that was fun. For 50 bucks, seriously, can you go wrong? If you liked it, like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube things, and we'll see you next time.